My name is Jim Estes, and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club. You can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball. And what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced. The insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top. And then slowly coming down, trace the line. And do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is a great feedback tool, visual feedback tool, for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstesGolf.com if you have any questions. To be effective, two things have to happen. One, I think you need to get bent over a little more from the hips. So effectively, we would lower your chest closer to the ground. Oftentimes, I think you hit the top of the ball. But yeah, yeah. So one of the things here, the backswing needs a little more leverage. You need to get a bend in the right, the back of the left wrist. So on the backswing, you want a 90 degree angle in the back of that left wrist, and you want what's called horizontal hinging. Horizontal hinging is when you're hinging back that way. So you don't have a lot of leverage in your golf swing, and that's taken away from your distance. So what will be evident here when I show you some videos of people is you'll see that they do get some hinge, some wrist hinge. Uh, so the back of his wrist is bent, yeah. and we're going to get some more hinge there. And that's going to give you more power. Now, in terms of hitting the ball consistently, your head's staying very stable, which is great. You got a nice hit on that. Now I realize with this, with the right side of your body being limited in terms of being able to move, right. you're not going to be able to rotate your lower body uh, yeah. like some other folks, which is perfectly fine. You can see he's getting, he's using the ground and generating some rotational force, which you know may or may not be able to do. I don't know, but that's something to consider. But it's not the priority. The most important priority is getting leverage. Make sure you're cocking, you're cocking the back of your left wrist. Oh. And coming down, the club head should stay on that yellow line. It's coming a little outside the yellow line. So the club should hinge up and down on the same plane. And you'll see that here. That's the shaft plane angle. He's going to go up and he's going to come down pretty much on the same line. Now, obviously. Uh, so, I think what we're going to do is try to incorporate a little more wrist cock in your backswing. All right. Everything I just said, one way to do that is to make sure that you grip the golf club properly. And in order to grip it properly, it has to be held more in the fingers than in the palm. So don't get it in the center of the palm. Get it in the fingers, and that will help maximize this wrist, wrist hinge. Hmm. All right. 